CNBC senior personal finance correspondent Sharon Epperson has more. Alyssa Howell joined a crypto wallet company last fall that pays all of its employees in Bitcoin. It has been a very steep learning curve for me. She never owned digital currencies before this job. Now Howell is paid in Bitcoin on the first of every month, based on her salary in U.S. dollars. If Bitcoin is 50000 and I make 25000 per month, I'll receive half of a Bitcoin. Now, on the first, our company sets the price. So at a certain time on the first of every month, they'll say, this is the exchange rate for Bitcoin. Employees can then convert their crypto paychecks back into dollars, with the company covering the conversion fee. But this single mother of two has gone all in with crypto. You read it. While she exchanges Bitcoin for dollars to pay day-to-day -day expenses, she found a lender who will let her pay her mortgage in Bitcoin and keeps 10% of her Bitcoin pay for retirement savings. I'm long-term cryptocurrency, so I'm not watching the volatility on the day-to-day. I'm here for the next five years, the next decade, the next two decades. That's where I really see the opportunity. Howell has worked for the firm Exodus for about seven months. The company's CEO, J.P. Richardson, says paying employees in Bitcoin is a way to help make virtual currencies more mainstream. I love telling people that only invest what you can afford to lose because this market still is early, even though we believe in the future of this market, early days, it's still volatile. You know, the price goes up and down, up and down. Bitcoin has been a roller coaster for investors. The price reaching an all time high above $68,000 last November, but losing half its value since then. Financial advisors caution investors to balance their crypto investments with other financial goals and not to get in over their heads. Before investing in crypto, ask yourself, do you have sufficient emergency savings, disability and life insurance? Are you saving enough for retirement? Also consider your cash flow. Take a breath before pressing that buy button and potentially consulting with an advisor to say, is this the right thing for me? Keep in mind, there are also fees involved with exchanging Bitcoin to dollars and tax implications to consider as well. Also, managing your finances using crypto does not offer many consumer protections or government oversight, Becky. Yeah, all things to think about. You know, if, if somebody wants to try this at home, Sharon, maybe try to manage their financial life with crypto, anything else you would point out to them? Well, you know, Alyssa wanted to go all in, and it doesn't always work as planned. She found a mortgage lender that was going to accept crypto payment, but then the loan was sold to another servicer that is not going to accept crypto. So she has to come up with mm -hmm. another plan now for the mortgage. You also have to think about if you're going to have these transaction fees, that could be costly if you're changing crypto to dollars. And will you have an employer like Alyssa did that's going to cover those costs? And then there are so many tax issues to consider. You really definitely need to work with a tax professional who is familiar, who is really well versed in crypto as you're deciding to make these various transactions and manage your financial life that way. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I would point out to people that it, it's not a currency at this moment. You, you can't have a currency that fluctuates that rapidly. Um, and, and just like I wouldn't invest all of my, my money in equities, you, you need to make sure you have a cash cushion for, for just day-to-day -day cash flow items so you don't get caught up in a market downturn in, in any of these markets.